happy afternoon. So hopefully I can get through this video without too many hand gestures. <laughs> Something I've noticed. Anyway, all right. So I've got to thinking two years ago, right as the pandemic was beginning, there was a fire at Chernobyl. Now, all of a sudden, all the hoopla and everything, I kept saying, something's going on over there, something's going on over there. And then all of a sudden, the troops had pulled out of there. I'm very curious. I want to know what the heck I was picking up on. Simply because I want to know. It's fascinating. Now, second, I think a rope dope is going on. Everybody's paying attention to the drum beats and all of this and the hoopla and getting scared about potentialities of war. Okay? Like another global war. You know? And ultimately, I mean, it really feels like a lot of people just don't want to fight. Now, the rope a dope has to do with water does. There's too many places like weed here. Weed, uh, seven years ago, I was saying, guys, your water rights are getting ready to be Shanghai. You need to start talking to Roseburg. You need to talk, start, talk to Roseburg, please. They waited to the last minute, the last minute, beyond the last minute, for their water rights. And, yeah, it hasn't been so good. And there's been no more news about it that I'm aware of. But, then again, you know, they didn't care to look, so I quit saying you might want to go check on it. So, the bigger rope-a-dope, though, everybody's direction is faced towards oil. What's going on with the water? You know, Crystal Geyser's a uh, French company, I want to say. They're actually out of here, out of the week, and they're bottling water and sending it everywhere. You know, who owns your water? Why is a natural resource not available to everyone? Clean resource. Oh, wait a minute. We keep polluting. we got to do something about that. And I almost took you guys over to an old building in which another one in Wairika that would be great for recycling. It's smaller, which means in the smaller space, it'd have to be clean and it leaves no room for anybody to dump their shit stuff. I hope you're able to follow my train of thought because this is like really massive for me. It's so big for me. It's crazy. I hope you have food for thought and that we all take action as best as possible. Hang in there. Stay strong. Follow your intuition. Voice it. Vocalize it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.